in accordance with rule. The success achieved by the government internationally is matched by daunting challenges at home. The growing expanse of territory liberated from Al-Shabaab has created an opportunity for the federal government to extend its control over the country and enhance its legitimacy among Somalis. The government is working to fill the vacuum through an inclusive, bottom-up approach. Provisional rules of procedure. I invite However, Al-Shabaab <coughs> is not yet defeated and its presence continues to hamper freedom of movement of, for Somalis and those who would assist them. The representative of the Sudan to participate in... The Secretary General suggests in his report it would be important to take a calibrated approach based on all the factors at play, including the, present, the pressing need to support the development of Somali forces while avoiding the proliferation of uncontrolled weapons that could exasperate the security situation. The Secretary General is therefore recommending to the Security Council the liquidation of AMPOS and the establishment of a broader peace-building mission based in Mogadishu. Today, Al-Shabaab is weakened, its leadership is in disarray and on the run. We are committed to continue the fight against this scotch until the final victory is realized. The Security Council will now begin its consideration. Despite the progress in different areas and the multiple tasks, uh, tasks ahead, serious challenges remain. We have no illusions about this. Getting rid of the remnants of Al-Shabaab is a top priority for us. This, however, requir requires strengthening the military capacity of the Somali Defense Forces by way of training, providing enablers in a timely manner, and further restructuring the command and control structures. Of item two of the agenda. 